For more about Prime Minister Netanyahu's proposal to freeze Israeli settlements on the West Bank, we are joined tonight by one of our regulars. He's Ghassan Shabane, a Palestinian-American who is a professor at Marymount College here in New York. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What do you think prompted this proposal to come forward from the Prime Minister, and why now? I believe in pressure from Washington and a pressure from many European countries. Wherever the Prime Minister goes, he hears that settlements ought to stop or ought to be frozen uh, for the Palestinians to come back to the negotiation table. So the, 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 the Palestinians are now winning diplomatically around the globe because everyone is basically asking what they are desiring. Do you think that this was uh, possibly an effort on the part of the Israelis to prop up Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas, because Abbas has threatened to resign due to the lack of progress. I believe if that was the intention, I believe they have failed miserably in doing that. Why? Because if East Jerusalem is not included into this deal, Prime, uh, President Abbas cannot come back to the negotiation table because East Jerusalem is a core issue for not only the Palestinians, but also for Arabs and Muslims around the globe. Anything that basically pushes East Jerusalem out of the picture is unacceptable and short of where the Palestinians would like to see a state, a future state coming. So freezing settlements on the West Bank alone is not enough for the Palestinians? It is not enough and also it, uh, it is in, the, in direct contradiction with the road map where it is stated very clearly uh, in 2003 President Bush uh, to push the, 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 the peace process forward, he stated that, or he issued the roadmap where it stated very clearly that the Palestinians and the Israelis each has to take certain steps. One of the steps that the Israelis were asked to take was to free settlements, natural growth, and East Jerusalem was also included. If East Jerusalem is not included in this freeze, that's also uh, a violation of the roadmap, which is an American uh, framed roadmap. And that is why you think that the Palestinians were so quick to respond in a negative way to this? Uh, Minister Fayyad today responded to this uh, uh, proposal by saying that we will not accept it and I believe that also President Abbas will do the same and the majority of the Palestinian people will do the same because it falls short of the desired future Palestinian state. East Jerusalem uh, in 1967 was six square uh, uh, kilometers, now East Jerusalem is 72 square kilometers and this huge explosion of size of East Jerusalem all added settlements to the uh, regular or natural size of, of East Jerusalem. So the Palestinians really have a lot uh, of difficulties absorbing what the, what the Israelis are doing at this stage. So what happens next? If the Israelis will not compromise on East Jerusalem, I believe President Abbas will resign. And if Abbas resigns, we're going to see more chaos in the region. And I don't see that any Palestinian leader in the near future is capable of sitting with the Israelis and doing the compromise that the old guards have been able to do, which is Arafat and Abbas. Ghassan Shabane, thank you very much. Thank you.